Hey guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here. In front of me, I have the new ATI gauge pod specific for the Fiesta ST. Behind me, I have our Fiesta ST, which means I'm gonna be installing this today. I'm very excited, but first, I wanted to show you guys the pod. So, very simple, a single piece. Now, this particular piece, we're actually gonna take out the driver's side vent uh, on, I guess, whoops, excuse me. If you're on the, uh, in, in the driver's side seat, it's gonna be on our left-hand side on US cars and we're gonna replace it with this pod. Of course, the gauge is gonna slide in there and we're gonna hook up the gauge. So it's gonna be a very simple install and very clean install. And that's the biggest thing is making sure that, you know, anytime you install gauges, you want it to be clean and simple um, and also, you know, kind of at least in your peripheral vision. And so this is gonna be a perfect spot for this. I'm very excited to get this installed. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've just installed the AM boost gauge in our Fiesta ST, and I've actually installed that using the ATI gauge pod, which goes inside the vent, and it looks very clean. So let's talk about functionality. So of course, with the boost gauge, it is a full digital boost gauge. You have a, I guess you could call it an analog style sweeper. It's a light that kind of sweeps up, uh, but you just have a nice digital readout, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, it just makes it really easy to see. And the ATI pod, it mounts very cleanly, of course, 52 millimeter. Uh, you can still utilize air conditioning because it actually has uh, holes around it to, so you know the air can flow through, which is really good, especially on a hot day like today. Uh, and the, then, you know, the other thing is the install itself. So the ATI pod installs incredibly easily, I guess I should say that. Um, you literally just take out the, the factory uh, vent pod and you know take apart the components put the ATI one on there and you're ready to mount a 52 millimeter boost gauge and then the AM boost gauge itself not bad at all much like a typical uh, well typical gauge in any way shape or form uh, you're just running power ground and then running your sensor and that's about it so really very easy uh, all in all probably took me about two hours and I was really taking my time and I mean really taking my time. So uh, very easy and the fit and finish is just perfect and I love the readout. Anyway, that's all the time we've got for you today. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We will be updating you more on this car as well as more car parts in general. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.